Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this uh, compound shape that consists of a semicircle along with a bunch of triangles as you can see in this figure such that this angle is 40 degrees, this angle is 65 degrees and now we are going to calculate the value of angles x and y. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video. Before we proceed with the solution to this problem, let me go over basic review pretty quick. And here's our very first crucial property. The angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. Now let's recall Thales theorem. If A, B and C are distinct point on a circle where the line AC is a diameter, then this angle A, B, C is a right angle and we can see that these points A, B and C are the points on this circle. And moreover, this line segment AC must be a diameter. And now let's go over this exterior angle theorem. The exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of two opposite interior angles. As we can see that this angle X is our exterior angle and that is equal to the sum of these two opposite uh, interior angles alpha and beta. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's recall this, the angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference for this uh, arc CD. This is our angle at the center and this is the angle at the circumference. And now we know that the angle at the circumference is half of this angle. So this angle has got to be 20 degrees. So thus our angle B turns out to be 20 degrees. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this triangle ABC. And now let's recall Thales theorem. And here's our Thales theorem. According to this theorem, this angle ACB is 90 degrees, as you can see over here. And here's our next step. Let's consider this triangle BCE. And let's recall exterior angle property. And here's our exterior angle theorem. According to this uh, theorem, this angle is our exterior angle and that is equal to the sum of these two opposite interior angles. So therefore I can write angle X plus 20 degrees angle equal to this exterior angle which is 90 degrees. Now let's subtract 20 degrees from both sides to solve for x. So this negative 20 and positive 20 this is gone. So x turns out to be 70 degrees. So thus our angle x turns out to be 70 degrees. And in this next step let's consider this uh, triangle OCF. And now let's recall exterior angle property. Once again, according to this property, this uh, angle 65 degrees is an exterior angle and that is going to be equal to the sum of these two opposite uh, interior angles. If this is 65 degrees, this is a 40 degrees, then this angle has got to be 25 degrees. So thus our angle OCF turns out to be 25 degrees. And here's our final step. Let's consider this triangle ACO. We know that this whole angle is 90 degrees. This angle is 25 degrees. That means this angle has got to be 90 minus 25 means 65 degrees. So therefore our this angle ACO turns out to be 65 degrees. And we also know that this uh, AO and CO are equal in length because both of them the radii of this semicircle. 
Therefore, we conclude that this triangle ACO is an isosceles triangle. And since this is an isosceles triangle, if this angle is 65 degrees, this angle has got to be 65 degrees. So thus our angle Y turns out to be 65 degrees. So thus our angles X turns out to be equal to 70 degrees and Y turns out to be 65 degrees and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.